Hey guys, I know I talked about cholesterol before in a lot of the videos, but I want to just mention a couple little points about it that I think is very, very important. Okay, when you start to cut down the cholesterol, your body will just make more. If you eat more, your body will make less. And just realize that the purpose of cholesterol is to help you make hormones and to help your skin be healthy, help the brain function correctly and the nervous system. The problem with having a clogged artery, for example, or placking, it's not the cholesterol, it's the artery that goes bad first and then the cholesterol builds Builds up, but it's not the cholesterol. And by the way, when you talk about LDL and HDL, those aren't even, that's not even cholesterol. Okay, those are little shuttles that carry the cholesterol in and out of the body, in and out of the liver, actually. So HDL would be the cholesterol that would carry the cholesterol out of the liver, and LDL carries it into the liver. So we have this constant recycling going on. The majority of the cholesterol in your body is actually made by your liver. So if you eat less of it, your body will make more of it. And if you eat more of it, your body will make less of it. Cholesterol's gotten a bad reputation over the past many decades, being blamed for heart disease and stroke when it's not actually the cause of it. It's kind of like a tornado rips through a neighborhood, and then the people who come to rebuild it and fix it are being blamed for the tornado to begin with, which is the case of cholesterol. There's a lot of inflammatory damage happening in the artery itself. The cholesterol is sent to fix and patch that up. That's causing the placking. So it's not the cholesterol that's causing direct heart disease. It's we have to go many layers deeper and find out what is causing that damage to begin with? In most cases, it's a metabolic dysfunction and having to do with a lot of sugar issues as well.